Hey there, welcome to the deck full-size drawer system installation video. Uh, thanks for joining us. We're gonna make this uh, already pretty simple process that much easier for you because nothing sucks worse than bad instructions and crappy videos. But your job is still to read the damned instructions. I find it really helpful and you're gonna find it helpful too if you take everything out of the box, unpack it, lay it flat on the floor, get your hardware kit nice, neat and organized, get your eyes on everything. And also it really helps for me to create a point of reference as I'm putting this together. I usually try to visualize the process, starting at my feet, being at the tailgate end, and then building it out from there. So you don't mix up your lefts and rights with some of these parts and pieces and get halfway through and blow a gasket. Um, we do tell you, be careful using power tools. Um, it really helps, it makes the process go faster. So if you decide to use power tools, what you wanna do is use a screw gun like this that actually has an adjustable clutch so you can set the clutch down into the bottom third so you don't blow any of the plastic inserts out and set the speed to slow. On this drill, it's a one or a two, so set it on one. That'll just save you some grief in the end. We do provide some spare inserts, but you only get four, and uh, so four strikes and you're out. Uh, that's it, so enjoy, and we'll see you on the other end. To get this job done, you're gonna need a 7 16 wrench or socket, a 3 8 socket, a 3 8 wrench or adjustable wrench, a 3 16 and a 7 30 seconds hex key, a trusted friend with a weak mind and a strong back, and depending on your specific vehicle, you might need a couple of extra common tools, so refer to your particular instructions. So prep the bed. To begin, some vehicles require installing bed shims or replacing bed tie downs. If your instructions tell you to follow these steps, well follow them. For the purposes of today's video, we're gonna skip ahead and get onto the business at hand. Step one. Arrange your arrangement. Imagine your truck bed is on the ground, the cab side is furthest away from you. Set down the center vert with the axle at the tailgate end or at your feet. Take your left and right side assemblies and lay them out on either side of the center vert. Make sure that the tailgate axles are located at the same end as your center vert axle. Very important. Make sure that the nuts and bolts connecting the cab side support feet and tie down brackets to the C channel are tight and that the tie down brackets are plumb and level to the tops of the C channel. Now take a moment and check that the tailgate end support feet and C channel attachments are loose enough that they can be maneuvered. Loosen them slightly if needed. Take the driver's side deck panel, locating the sticker on the panel, and place it on the driver's side with the sticker at the tailgate end. Align the threaded inserts in the corner feet to the mounting holes in the deck panel. Grab six bolts from the hardware bag, labeled bolts, and install three bolts tightly into each foot, connecting the panel to the side assembly. You may need to jimmy the tailgate foot so it aligns with the threaded inserts. Repeat this process for the passenger side of the system. Now go back and tighten the nuts and bolts, connecting the C-channel and the feet at the tailgate end of the system. Do not attach the center vert to the deck panels. Take a second, stretch your hamstrings. Step number two, ring in the new you. We've made life easier by integrating D-ring tie downs into the deck panel. The four provided D-rings may be installed in any of the eight locations on the deck, depending on your preference. Typically, most sane people choose the four corners. Install D-rings flat side down, starting with the silver spacer, then the D-ring, then the small black washer, all finally tightened down with a large black bolt. Tighten fully with 3 16 inch hex wrench. Repeat this step in all four corners. Unused tie-down locations will receive a simple bolt and washer. Additional tie-downs can be purchased on our website for an easy upgrade. Step number three, adorn your drawers. Grab the hardware bag labeled drawer hardware. Each drawer has a left and right side wheel bracket. Place the brackets into the corners of the drawers like this. Install two three quarter inch bolts in the bottom bracket holes and finger tighten the nylon lock nuts. Install the long one and a half inch bolt into the top mounting hole on the back of the drawer and secure with a nut. Now get nutty and tighten all them nuts. Use the remaining two three quarter inch bolts for each side and install the two brace into the drawer brackets. Grab the four larger wheels, two per drawer, and install them with a 7 30 seconds hex wrench into each drawer bracket. Now take a moment and flex for your neighbors. Step number four, the love handle. All right, big timer, we did one handle for you, but you have to install the other on your own. From the face of the drawer, grab the red spring, which goes on the right-hand side. Red equals right. Geez, aren't we clever. Hold the spring with the straight leg pointing down and the bent leg pointing to your left horizontally. 
Holding the spring in this orientation, slide it up into the cavity on the right side of the handle slot. While holding the spring up into place, take the clevis pin and slide it into place so that it grabs the spring and just starts to poke out of the spring cavity. You might have to tap it gently into place with a hammer. Repeat this step with the other side, holding the silver spring with the straight leg pointing down and the bent leg pointing to your right. Once both springs are in place and held securely by the clevis pin, take the handle, press it in at an angle into the back of the handle pocket and rotate it up and into place so that it grabs the both spring arms in the little notches. As you rotate it into place, the springs will be put under pressure. Finish sliding the clevis pins through the handle and out the other side. Secure the clevis pins in place with the included hair pins. Check to make sure that the handle is under tension and pops back and forth into place. Really snappy. If it's a limp handle, check your handle work, buddy, and try again. Step number five, it's install time. Grab the cab side closeout panel and hook the center vert tabs into the closeout panel. Snap it into place by pushing down on the center vert to engage the tabs and slots. Place the center vert assembly into the bed of your truck with a T at the cab side end. Here you may want to go fetch your trusty friend and have them help you. Mine seemed to have wandered off while filming, but we did find them later. Take a minute to inspect the gasket both in the center vert and the deck panel, ensuring that they're in place and not slipping out or out of place. Walk the assembly into place towards the cab and seat it, taking care to make sure that the cab side closeout, aka the T, is fully seated underneath the cab side portion of the deck panel. Press the zigzag onto the center vert, making sure that the gaskets remain in place and do not get folded over. Install the driver's side deck panel assembly in the same manner. Connect the center vert to the deck panels using the correct number of bolts for your truck from the bolts bag, taking care not to cross thread or strip out the center vert bosses. Step number six, drop in your drawers. Slide both drawers into position. Either have a friend hold the drawer up for you or jam a piece of two x four under the one side of the drawer. Do this step without the weather strip on the drawer lip. Install the four little wheels under your drawers, screwing them into the axles using a 7 32 inch hex wrench. Now I suggest performing two karate high kicks. Step number seven, put the mustard on the dog. Install the ruler with four 3 16 hex drive screws. Do not over torque these torque boy, just get them good and snug. Position the torsion brace so that the side with the holes is facing you and the side without holes slides underneath the system. Slide the top of the cod piece under the tab on the center vert. Hold said cod piece in place and install two one inch by three eighths hex head screws through the cod piece and the torsion brace. Loosely tighten this for now. Attach the torsion brace ends with the same hex screws, leaving them slightly loose. A check to make sure everything is nice and straight. Once you like what you've got, go back and tighten all four of these screws down firmly. Install the drawer lock plugs or drawer locks if you purchase these now. For instructions on how to install locks, refer to the video deck.com slash install locks. Finally, install the weather strips. Take care that these are installed with the angled blade pointing towards the cab of the truck. Do not screw this up. Installing the weather strips backwards will cause them to funnel water in your drawers, not keep the water out. Step eight, turn buckle wrestling. Find your respective turnbuckles. There are three different lengths of turnbuckles possible depending on your rig, so take a minute to identify where each length goes, which can vary depending on your fitment. Set the jam nuts to the outermost position on the turnbuckle. Set the distance at each side of the turnbuckle is tightened to equal. Now adjust the turnbuckle to the approximate correct length by grasping each end and holding firmly as you rotate the take up to adjust the length. Take a moment to straighten and center the entire system in your bed. The reference point is a rib or trough where it intersects with the center vert. True center is not measured from the sides as truck beds are frequently not perfectly square. Identify the correct pass through on the tie down bracket connected to the C channel from your instructions. Hook one end of the turnbuckle to this bracket and then hook it through your bed tie down. Rotate the take up to tighten the turnbuckle. Just get them snug at this point in all four corners. Take another second to make sure your system is centered in the bed. Once you're satisfied, go around and tighten each corner. Get each turnbuckle as tight as you possibly can by hand, then take a screwdriver or a wrench and tighten the turnbuckle no more than one full turn. With a 3 8 inch wrench or an adjustable wrench, tighten the jam nuts against the turnbuckle, take up, locking it in place so that it will not loosen. Now slap yourself high five. Install the stash bins where and how you like them. 
Install your four stash bin lids. Install the stash bin plugs or locks and weather caps if you purchase these. All right, there you go. You did it, partner. Way to go. If you're still sober, you're probably better than us. Uh, that was a full-size drawer system installation video. Hope it made sense to you. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to hit us up, whether it's an email or a chat or a DM or a phone call. We're here to help and uh, hope you enjoy your new drawer system.